Hi, Luke from Cork here, and I'm here at the Nam Show 2024 with Audio Technology Magazine presenting the PS 3300. This is a recreation of our incredible synth from the 1970s. Uh, it came out in 1977. Less than 50 were made, so we believe. So super, super rare to find one, and even rarer to find one that's actually in fully working order. So. We brought it back, and it's uh, a coveted synthesizer. The things that made it special were, first of all, it's fu fully polyphonic, and uh, that means we've got 49 notes uh, which we can play simultaneously, so you're never going to get any problem with polyphony whatsoever. You can just go, go for your life, explore. And you've also got three modules which are identical, which you can then stack on top of each other and then control by this mixer here so these these become the levels for your three modules and it has some quite special things inside so the first thing was the fact it has the had these resonators and you have one in each uh, module and what that basically is is a, like a bandpass filter where you can sculpt out frequencies and then adjust how much of that you want to hear and if you want to, you can modulate that as well just by flicking this switch and it will send it to this, one of the other uh, modulation gener generators that's in there, also known as an LFO, so you can get some really nice motion going. And that creates kind of like a phasing type effect or uh, you can get some really nice nasally pad type sounds using the resonator. Uh, the other thing which is really interesting is the fact you've got temperament adjust on all of these three modules so that means you can you can tune every single pitch within the scale to whatever pitch you want and you can do uh, kind of fancy micro tuning techniques and be very very experimental as well so that's what sets this apart uh, as a as a creative synthesizer as well um, things which we've added from the original which kept it as authentic as we possibly can in terms of circuitry and the way it sounds but we have added a couple of features so first thing is this programmer which basically means you can save your favorite sounds which is obviously very very useful um, and record them really easily that was available it was actually available on the 3200 but not the 3300 so we've kind of taken that from there put it into 3300 and we've also added some more modern protocols usb and midi as well so you can kind of very easily integrate it into a modern production scenario as well as well as keeping that authenticity of that uh, analog circuitry so so maybe we should have a quick listen
there you go, as you can hear, some special sounds coming out of it. And uh, having those three different modules, being able to layer them up, have different pitches, um, just gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of sound design. And of course, it's a semi-modular synth, so that means it's all pre-patched or normal behind the scenes. But we've got lots of patch points we can uh, reroute signals to, or even add extra things, like you've got an extra envelope here. You can take that out, send it to the filter, for example. You've got a sample and hold generator to create some motion to the sound. So all uh, kind of popular synthesizer techniques you want to do, they're all inside. So it was put tough to develop just because of the nature and the complexity of it. Um, but we've tried to keep it as authentic as possible. So we have managed to pretty much use uh, similar components to what you used back in the day. There's a couple of things which we couldn't source. Um, for instance, the resonator uses this material called cadmium, um, which we can't get anymore. So we've had to find an alternative uh, source of uh, material for that. Um, and we've also managed to reduce the size of the unit as well. So the original is quite a lot deeper than this. Uh, but because of modern circuitry and uh, manufacturing techniques, we've managed to make it a little bit more compact. So, yeah. We don't know the exact price yet, but um, in the US they put a, a kind of guide price of $13,000. So we don't know exactly if that's gonna be, it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. Um, so yeah, watch this space and uh, we're gonna be taking, um, we're gonna be making this to order. So manu uh, manufacturing will start later in the year uh, and then we'll take it from there. So.